Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Priyansh from Team Signos. Thank you so much for tuning in. In this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to instrument a Ruby application with open telemetry. In order to do that, we will use a sample Ruby application and instrument the sample app with open telemetry libraries. Open telemetry enables you to generate telemetry data like logs, metrics, and traces from your application. You then need a backend to send the collected telemetry data. In this tutorial, we will use Cygnos, an open source APM application performance management tool built to support open telemetry natively. So let's get started. This is the blog post I was talking about. It says tracing a Ruby application with open telemetry for performance monitoring. Links will be in the description below. There are basically four things that we are going to do. First of all, install Cygnos. Second, clone the sample Ruby application. And then we instrument the app with open telemetry and then set the open telemetry exporter endpoint to a specified port of the machine where Cygnos is installed. And then finally, we, uh, we use Cygnos dashboards to analyze metrics and traces. So let's install Cygnos so that uh, open telemetry can send the data to it. And for the purpose of this video, we will install Cygnos locally on this machine. Uh, by the way, I'm using uh, M1 MacBook Air. Cygnos can be installed on the on Mac OS or Linux computers in just three easy steps following the installation command. So let's go down to the installation steps. You can read this stuff or this open telemetry, uh, how open telemetry and Cygnos work together. And yeah, these are the installation steps. Let me just clone, copy the command, open my term, and I've created a Cygnos demo directory on my desktop. So let me copy the command here and wait for Cygnos to install on this machine. It's taking my OS, starting Docker. So I'll skip to the step where Cygnos is successfully installed on my system. All right, we have successfully installed Cygnos and let me just uh, give my email real quick. Priyansh at Cygnos.io. And uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. And then let me show you the UI. This is the screen, the first screen that you will get. And uh, let me clarify one thing to you that uh, Cygnos provides role-based access control features. So uh, you can create an account with admin access and then invite your team members to collaborate. Uh, so I have my credentials, so I'll just log into Cygnos and I'll skip the step. So there you go. This is the first screen that you will see with uh, these four services. These are basically the sample app with which uh, we ship usually with Cygnos. You can also remove them. Um, you can uh, see the command in the docs. So yeah, this is pretty much it. And now back to the Ruby blog. And now let's in instrument a Ruby application. And for those for that, we need to install some dependencies. And then uh, we need to initialize the open telemetry SDK. And the repository for uh, the Ruby app is here. The link is here. And I have already opened it in one of the tab. This is the repository. And I have already cloned it. So you need to clone. Yeah, I already cloned it and it's open in my VS Code editor. This is how it looks like. So these are the dependencies that we talked about. It's, it is present in my gem file. Back to the blog. And yeah, then we need to include the required packages. And I will let me do this. Install those. Yeah. Let me do it here. Yep. All those three dependencies are installed and the last command is bundle install. So let's do that. Cool. So we have the bundle complete and then initialize the open telemetry SDK. It's present in config environment.rb. Okay. Config environment.rb yep there it is and then run your ruby application so we have to set the following environment variables and uh, hotel resource attributes you just pass the custom attributes like the application name with hotel resource attributes is application like you can choose any name 
we, we chose your sample rails app in here. This is the final command and let me copy it here. So it's listening on port 3000. Let me open port 3000. Yeah. Okay, so one thing we missed out was that we need to run Rails DB migrate as well. So let's do that real quick. Debugging on the go. Let me stop the service, run Rails DB migrate. I think it migrated successfully. Now again, run. It's listening on port 3000. Let me go to port 3000, refresh it again. And yeah, we have the app, the dummy app kind of thing open and running. Let me create some sharks. Shark name is what? Keto. Facts. Keto is a good shark. And now let's create a shark. So yeah, we successfully created a shark. Back to shark, let's create a new shark and let's call this shark, Sharko. Sharko is a bad shark. And we created another star, uh, shark. Then edit this shark is a bad, is not a bad shark so we you, you can see we are just interacting with the app a couple number of times and back to sharks so we have two sharks keto and sharko show this shark just kind of hitting the endpoint so we have some data to show in the signals dashboard so i think we have some data now let me just go and refresh it a bit so we'll see the service yes this is your sample rail set that we talked about let me click on it and this is the overview metrics that you got Okay, yeah, that you get with Signals, database calls, nothing in here to show currently. Error percentages, and these are the top endpoints. Let me click on one. And uh, this, uh, you, can, you can see we just got to the traces tab. You can use these functions to sort by some or group by HTTP URL or operation names or play around with these legends. You can also sort by all those service names if you wish to so let's get one of your sample rails app service click on one the the sample rails app is the app that we just interacted with and these are the gain charts and frame graph view which gives you detailed explanation of what's going on in your application you can click on it you can go exactly to see uh, the tags associated with it you can see the runtime version which version of ruby are we running it's 3.1.2 uh, and it's also mentioned over here uh, or this yeah Ruby version is 3.1.2. Next, um, HTTP host, target, and all sorts of data that uh, are associated. We currently do not ha have any events. And that's pretty much it. These are the trace details. These, there are four spans. These span, and you can see the details of that span. And uh, more over things you can do. You can also go on this focus on selected span and uh, kind of just look deep into what's happening if you have more services to monitor. That's all for this video. Uh, if you have any questions about Signals, definitely reach out to us on our Slack channel, a place where uh, we discuss things around open source, observability, and APM. Links to everything will be in the description below. We, we are looking forward to your feedback and how we can make Signals better and understand your use cases better. And with that, uh, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.